In this lecture, we are going to test whether we have an outbound internet access through our NAT gateways. In our last lecture, we created two NAT gateways in the public subnets in two different availability zones. And in this lecture, we are going to test whether we have an outbound internet access through those NAT gateways. To do that, we are going to launch an EC2 instance into the private subnet app tier in each availability zone. Then we are going to use the run command to test whether we have access through the NAT gateways to download security patches and updates. Let's go to the management console to see how we can do that. In our management console, the first thing we have to do is to create an IAM role for our EC2 instance to be able to use the run command. So let's select service. And under security, identity and compliance, select IAM. We are going to select roles and create role. And under select the type of trusted entities, we are going to select AWS service. And it is going to be an EC2 instance. And we'll click next for permission. Under permission policy, let's type in SSM here. And we will select this EC2 role for SSM. We'll click next for tags. On this page, we are not going to add any tags. We'll click next to review. And on this page, we will give our role a name. I'll call it SSM role. And I'm not going to add any descriptions. And I'll click create role. You can see the role we just created here. And these are all the roles I have in my account. Next, we are going to launch our EC2 instance in the private subnet in the first availability zone and test whether we have an outbound internet access. So to do that, let's go to service. Under compute, select EC2. Then we'll select launch instance. Click launch instance. We'll select the Amazon Linux AMI. Click next. On this page, under network, let's select our VPC. That will be the demo VPC. And we'll select our subnet. We want to launch it in the private subnet one up here. Then we'll come down under IAM role. Let's select the SSM role we just created. And that's everything we need to do on this page. We'll click next to add storage. We'll leave that as default. Click next to add tags. And on that tag, let's give it a name and we will call it EC2 private subnet one. Then we will click next to configure security groups. Under security groups, let's create a new security group. So I'll call it EC2 SG. So EC2 security groups. And actually we don't need any rules because we are only testing outbound access. Then click next to review and launch. On this page, click launch. And for the key pair, you can either choose an existing key pair or create a new key pair. I already have a key pair. I'll select that. But again, we wouldn't need this because we are going to be using the run command to access our EC2 instance. So either create a new key pair or choose your existing key pairs. Select acknowledge and click launch instance. Then we'll click view instance to check the instance states. And we'll give it some time for this EC2 instance to launch. Then we will use the run command to test whether our EC2 instance has an outbound internet access through the NAT gateway. Now that our EC2 instance has complete running the status checks, let's use the run command to download security patches and updates to this EC2 instance. To do that, let's come to service. Under management and governance, select systems manager. Then on the left side, let's come down to run command and select run command. Then click run a command. For the command document, we want to run a shell script. So I'll click this arrow to find the shell script. It is right here. It is the AWS run shell script. I'll select that and I'll scroll down. In here is where you are going to type the command. For the command we are going to run, let's type sudo yum update minus y. And this is going to download the security patches and updates to our EC2 instance. 
then we'll come down then we want to choose the instance that we want to run this command on so i'll select choose instance manually and you can see our ec2 instance that we just launched i'll select it and i'll come down and i don't want the output to s3 bucket because we just want to test it so i'll uncheck this and i'll click run and you can see it is in progress let's click refresh and you can see it says success we have one target and it says completed so what just happened is the command we just ran on our ic2 instance to download security patches and updates to our ic2 instance was successful and this is telling us that our ic2 instance has an outbound internet access through the NAT gateway to download security patches and updates Next, let's test our NAT gateway in the second availability zone to see if that is also working. So what we will do is we'll come to service. We'll select EC2 on that compute. We'll launch a new EC2 instance. We'll select the Amazon Linux AMI. We'll select the T2 Micro. We'll select our VPC. And we are going to launch it into the private subnet 2 up here. So we select that subnet. And on that IAM row, we'll select our SSM row. And we'll click next to add storage. We'll leave our storage as default and we'll click next to add tags. On that tag, we'll add the tag. The name is going to be EC2 instance private subnet 2. Then we'll click next to our security group. And let's choose our existing security group we created from the last EC2 instance, which is the EC2 SG. We'll click next to review and launch. And we'll accept this, it's okay. We'll accept that. And because remember, we are only testing outbound access, so we don't need to really configure any security groups for now. We'll click next to launch. And we can choose our existing key pair. Select that and click launch instance. And let's click view instances. And once our IC2 instance completes its status checks, we will use the run command to see if we can download security patches and updates to this EC2 instance. Now our IC2 instance has completed the status check. So we'll go to service. And under management and governance, let's select system manager. On the left side, come down to run command, select run command. And right here, I'll click run command. On this page, let's look for the run shell script. It is right here, AWS run shell script. I'll select that. And on that command parameters, I'm going to type in my command. And it is going to be sudo yum update minus y. And this is just a command to download security patches and updates to our IC2 instance. Once I type in my command, I'll come down. Then I'm going to select the EC2 instance that I want to run this command on. I'm going to choose my instance manually. So I'll select choose instance manually. This time I want to run the command on the new EC2 instance we just launched. And that is going to be the EC2 instance in the private subnet too. I'll select the IC2 instance. Then I'll come down. For the output, the run command can generate an output document to an S3 bucket. For this example, I'm not going to generate any output document, but if you do want to generate an output document, just enable right into S3 bucket and choose your bucket. So if I select on this, you can see the bucket that I have available, or you can create your own bucket. So I'm going to uncheck this because I don't want an output document. But I'm just going to verify that the command works through the status check. So I'll come down and select run. And it is in progress. Let's give it a couple of seconds and I'll click refresh. So I have one target. It says my command is completed. And for my status checks, you can see it says success. And for the detailed status, it's also success. So this is how you test whether your NAT gateway is working. Based on the results of our run command, you can see that our NAT gateways are both working. Next, let's terminate our EC2 instance that we used. 
select services select easy to on that compute then I'm going to select running instances. Then we can select both of this EC2 instance. Then come to actions, instance state, and we are going to select terminate. And we'll select yes, we want to terminate this EC2 instance. And you can see that it is shutting down our EC2 instance. And now you can see that our two EC2 instance has been terminated. So make sure once you're done testing your NAT gateway, terminate those two EC2 instance. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.